Hello, everybody. Saigon here, and we're we're gambling today, I guess. Uh, we started off with 2,000 coins, and it's actually been going okay. Did we just get more free spins? We just got more free spins. I don't know why this is happening. Typically, I just get completely screwed over by casinos in... Any RPG, really? Dragon Quest, Pokemon, doesn't matter. But uh, I'm I'm seeing really, really good returns here, and I'm honestly not sure what to make of it. <laughs> Oh, that was close. I... Something that really bothers me is I'm actually having fun right now, and that hasn't happened before... ...with any casino. <laughs> Give it to me, damn it! And I, I don't like that I'm having fun right now. Oh my god, no. Don't, don't do this to me. Oh my god! Still, though. Still, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I did I did enjoy um, the Pachisi tracks in Dragon Quest X, as well as the uh, Pachinko in Dragon Quest X. Those were fun. Mary! Mary, I haven't seen you in so long. How are you doing, Mary? I found the best slot machine, dude. So we have enough coins now for 10 spins on the expensive one, on the 100 coin slot machine. And I'm wondering if once we're done with all the free spins and the metal spins, if we shouldn't move over there. Yeah, Abyss, that's exactly what I was thinking, is that it might just be time to move over. You were on a journey to deliver a sword to a Highlander <laughs> ate up a week before I knew it. That's fair, you're Scottish, that makes sense. I can't argue with that. I don't have any expectation for metal spin transferring. Oh, you actually literally were delivering a katana for a street performance in Edinburgh. That's... that's great. <laughs> It. Well, still. Okay, let's, um... I'm so sorry. I was not intending on spending this much time at the slot machines, but I want... I want those prizes. 
I want that swimsuit for Martina. It's important. God, it's so expensive. All right, we can do this 10 more times. Okay, now I'm starting to feel agitated again. This is what the slot machines usually do to me. This is what I'm used to. No, there's no blackjack. Otherwise, I'd be doing blackjack. Because that's the only casino game that's actually in your favor. God, that was brutal! This is what they mean by no one to walk away. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Fuck gambling. <laughs> so annoyed right now. Should have saved first. Ooh. I should have, yes. I didn't even think to do that. I don't typically save scum anything, so I didn't even think of it as an option. Oh, Red Mage, the, the problem with everybody's uh, strategies for slots is that they're not strategies at all. It's, it's all luck. They're machines designed to let people win just often enough to give folks hope that they can win. I wish it was like in DQ8 where you can just buy tokens for coins if you have enough and just buy stuff from tokens. You can do that. Did I bank all that money I took out? No. <laughs> no, I did not. Yeah, the prizes that I were go was going for were, like, crazy expensive. Like, I ne would have needed a million gold. You're a traveler. Is it safe now? I can't allow you into the castle during the nighttime. Queen Cheryl's worried about something. Come back tomorrow.
Okay, there is apparently no open bank here right now. There's a bank in Darune. Let's go dump that in there. So far from my first playthrough, I used up all of my gold to get around 700 coins, and eventually, a couple days ago, I ended up with 560,000 coins with two Metal Slime Jackpots. Jealous! Super jealous! Freaking door up here? It looked like there's a door. Whatever. So all in all, we lost about 30,000 gold. That's not terrible. Maybe closer to 40,000. At what point do you unlock the 100 coin machines? I don't know if they ever become available in Saltico. But uh, they are available in, in the latter half of the game. I'm trying to not give you major spoilers, which you should be aware there are major spoilers <laughs> happening today. Um, after your second visit in the story to Grota, you will have access to... Uh, 100 coin slot machines and th that also that casino also has better prizes Did I like Demon Martina? Of course I did. I'm a healthy young man. What, what was there not to like? <laughs> I don't need... I don't mean to be crude. I know I've said it before, but damn... Cheryl! Queen Cheryl! here don't look too bad. Where's the witch? Lift your head, Cheryl. The 
queen shouldn't make the people uneasy at, the, at times like these. Ro, and Saigon, and everyone else. Everyone's still alive. It's been a long time. I want to say that he's asking her what is going around, what is going on here, Cheryl, or what's been happening. But like the Google Translate for it is weird. I just I don't trust that one. Even though the Tree of Life has fallen, and darkness covers the world... There's a fear of the Golden Disease in this area. But now there may be some hope left. The Golden Disease. Is that what's up with those Golden Icebergs outside? Just now you mentioned a golden sickness. Bioin. Yeah, that's Bioin. Okay. <clears throat> Can you tell us what is happening here? A few weeks ago, a strange disease suddenly spread through the Claymoran Kingdom. Claymoran Kingdom. Humans, animals, and even plants were infected by this disease that turns their bodies into gold. Their bodies are turning to gold? I don't know what's causing it, so I don't have a treatment. The sickness has come to be called the Golden Disease by everyone. They're all worried. The sea is closed off by the gigantic golden iceberg that appeared along with the disease. We're unable to seek help from other countries. We're a solitary country now. Betting it's another general using one of the orbs. The witch Lizlet was investigating disease has been suspended to the dun the castle dungeon The 
people doubt her? Or she's locked herself away in the castle basement? Bleh. I attempted to release her as a friend, but the opposition from the people made it useless. The golden disease has everyone on edge. Okay. So yeah, the people called for her to be locked away. The queen wasn't able to release her because the people would have turned against her. We'll investigate the mystery of the golden disease. Thank you very much, Saigon and Ro. I'll tell the people in the castle and the town to cooperate with you. Please take care of us. Thank you. Golden disease. Oh my gosh. Please let this be where Kamu gets his dang memories back. <laughs> but Queen Cheryl, we can sell them for a profit. <laughs> Let's go see the witch. She's bound to know the most. No, that's the treasure room. They wouldn't have locked her in there. There was a cage over this way, though. For where they keep their one singular prisoner at all times. <clears throat> Hi, Liz. How are you doing? Saigon, you've come to see me. You don't have to worry about me. I had nothing to do with this. I'm a witch, so I can understand the people doubting me, but I'm going to have to be locked up here for a while. Let me tell you what I know about the Golden Disease. It's not a regular sickness. I feel some kind of evil magic power. It is closer to being a curse. The person behind it is strong. Perhaps you should reveal yourself to them as the hero. Although I'm a witch, I helped my friend Charles when she asked me to. 
I ask you to help her as well, Saigon. Yeah, I already got it. Or I thought I did? No, I'm thinking of the one in the other... ...room. There, there's a Yochi back on the other side, or back over in here as well, but we already grabbed that too. Still don't have the final key though. Yeah, I was thinking of this guy here. Are you not going to disappear anymore? I think they're sticking around longer. <sighs> Perry's really interested in playing this game now because I keep talking about it. She thinks it sounds great, but it's hit the point where she's like, I want you to stop telling me about the game. Because I think I'm going to really enjoy it, and I'm afraid you're spoiling all the best parts. <laughs> Saigon, what were you able to find out? About that. Excuse me there, miss. Could you tell us anything about what's going on? you people stay away from me I don't want my body body to be turned to gold oh wait a minute that's you calm you isn't it You know who I am? Hmm? How could I forget you? We know everything about you. What is this? Don't touch her, Sylvia. Hang on. Hey, miss. What's happening? Was I finally infected? Horrific screaming. What? Is 
this the gold sickness? Calm you, please remember. You know something. What is it, Kamu? Kamu? I came when I heard your voice. Do you know, Kamu? We're friends of his, but he seems to have lost his memory. What are you saying? Please come to my church. We'll talk about Kamu. It's near the main gate of the ca of that, not the castle, the town. So, I'm curious. This is the first woman that I've actually seen, the first person that I've seen be turned to gold. Where are you keeping the others? Because it sounds like you have quite the contagion on your hands here. Are you just like, are you throwing them in the vault? Or what's going on? <laughs> oh, hey, look, the town is actually proper open now. Well, proper. Five years. <clears throat> ah, you've come, come you. I can see you look well. I think it's been about five years since I last saw you. Five years ago. Up until then, did I live here? came to us from the Viking port in the North Sea for trade. At that time, you were a Viking Not a good Viking? I was a Viking? 
a Viking lackey as a Viking subordinate. Thank you. Thank you both, Mary and Mel. I'm getting tag teamed with translation help now. The Kingdom of Derek Huddle had been looking into the mystery of the th origin of the thief Camu. We never thought that you were Viking. Never minding his birth, Kamio was raised by Vikings along with his sister when they were young. I don't think it was a happy time for them. He and his sister seem to have been forced into a harsh life. One day he received a message that his sister had passed away. That was the same day he also left. Stop. The fact that I couldn't save them as a priest weighed on my heart. So if he's in trouble now, Stop it. Shibaraku Hitomini Shite Kurasai. Please let me be alone for a while. <clears throat> Sorry, I wasn't thinking about his feelings. Everyone seems to be friends with Kamu, so I ask that I get to follow you as well. <coughs> or follow? Oh no, he wants us to follow Kamu. Herp derp! I leave Kamu in your hands, I'll follow after. Thank you. Was that your companion? I think he headed for the back gate to the northwest. He had a pained look on his face. Actually, can I save with you? Or should I just go hit up one of the statues? Damn it! <clears throat> we'll go hit up a statue outside.
Ugh, man, maybe I should not narrate visual novels for three hours at a time. Would you look at the goddamn statue, man? Thank you. Oh yeah, I was definitely hydrating, it just was not enough. I had a bunch of tea also. <clears throat> there he is. Hey buddy. Saigon. I'm sorry for acting the way I did, but I... Screaming! I'm sorry, is that a gold? All the enemies are gold. Can't be. Get your memories back, please. Please, calm you, we miss you. Saigon, did you see the ship approaching the port? That scream we just heard couldn't have been a good thing. Leave Kamu to me. You should head towards the harbor. I think they might be Aura. All of the gold of this world. Belongs to Killer Gold. One of the six generals and leader of the Iron Man army. The metal army. Now it's time. Whether it be gems or gold statues of the humans, take away all the treasure of this town. Ugh. 
Of course they did. Let's go save quick. Kira Gold is probably a pun on Killer and Kira Sparkle. So how would they translate that? I, either as like Killer Gold, like I was saying, or like, I guess they could also call him like Glittering Gold. If they want to go with like an onomatopoeia. Of course it is! Gold digger? Do, 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 do. That man is still human. Okay, well, we can't let you take her regardless. All the treasure into the ship. Killer Gold is waiting. Those monsters are trying to take away the humans who became statues. Are they behind the Golden Disease? Who are you? You can't oppose General Kira Gold. such a general, but I won't watch this town be overrun. There's no value in a person who's not golden. We can't forgive those who might steal Kirigold's treasure. Yes, that is a falcon sword you spy. I I am dual wielding falcon swords. <laughs> because the game didn't tell me I couldn't. <laughs>
I also have a decent crit rate, so I've actually I've seen three crits out of a single attack. The standard Kogeki command has given me three crits with dual wielding falcon swords. It's been amazing. Sadly, it does not stack with falcon slash. They got past us. Run after them, Saigon. Saigon, that's... No! Come you! <laughs> Come you! Wait, how did he get over there? Second, there's no time to waste. We must stop them. We didn't make it in time. They can't have taken Kamu away from us. We'll just get him back. Let's find that priest and ask about it. And with that... Unless we're jumping right into another cutscene. Okay, good. With that, it's time for me to take a break. Thank you for joining me for another hour of the game, everybody. I will be back shortly. Hello everybody, Saigon Cat here, and I hope you're enjoying the Dragon Quest XI Let's Play. If you are, please be sure to hit like or subscribe if you're on YouTube, and if you're on Twitch, a subscription wouldn't hurt either. This is my full-time job now. If you're feeling very generous, please go and check out my Patreon page. I do have a number of rewards over there. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Take care.